The local leaders say it is a big problem in New York City and across the area. People working from home for a full economic recovery. The mayor has said that more people need to show up to the office. Well, now a new way of knowing if that's happening, rather than just judging by the lights off at office buildings, using technology that is probably right in your hand. Here's Seven on Your Side investigative reporter Dan Krauth. The sidewalks have gone from this to this since three pandemic years ago. Same with cars, traffic's picking back up again. While tourists and workers are heading back into the city, some have no plan of coming back to work, ever. Here I am over three years later and I'm, I'm still, still here. Some workers have no choice. They no longer have an office. That period of time that I would be commuting, I'm already at my computer. To others who are choosing to work from home. So, you know, fighting tourists every day just to get to my desk. And then with the pandemic, I just reprioritized. The city wants to know exactly how many people are traveling back into the area and when using this your cell phone data. When you move throughout the city, your cell phone pings off of different cell towers, collecting data about where you are and how long you stay. There's a vast amount you can do with this kind of data. So you think it's smart for the city to be looking into this? Yeah, because otherwise it's just guesswork. The city's spending a half a million dollars on a contract to study those cell phone pings to figure out new traffic patterns. We already did some of the work on our own. Eyewitness News analyzed cell data from this spring and compared it to the same time period in 2019. We found the areas here in red have about 70% of the cell phone activity compared to before the pandemic. We're all working typically three days a week in the office. Once again, carrying my phone in with me, it knows that. And it knows that probably on Mondays and Fridays in New York City, there's probably a third maybe a third of the number of phones that are actually in the city. The city's seen more activity than most other cities across the country. Chicago's cell activity is only at 56% of what it was before the pandemic. And San Francisco is at the bottom at just 29%. Every city is different. Every city has its own problems. In New York, there's enough vacant office space to fill the entire Empire State Building 26 times over. If you're in your office only half the time, then that's half of the services you need in New York City, in and around your office. Using new technology to figure out what the new New York looks like. We're getting close to whatever the new normal is going to be, but I'm not sure we're quite there yet. And here's something else the data shows us. Out of the more than 60 cities we analyzed, New Yorkers have the longest commute based on cell phone activity, an average of 41 minutes.